Prime Minister Lee Hsien Loong at a World Health Summit regional meeting in Singapore cited four challenges that Singapore should prepare for. These aren't just unique to Singapore, they also impact other countries in Asia. The first one is non-communicable diseases, second is ageing, third is healthcare affordability and the fourth is um, emerging infectious diseases. What are your thoughts on these challenges? We're very privileged. In general, we, we are enjoying great improvements in medicine that has translated into great extension in our average life expectancy. And the longer we live, hence aging, the longer we live, we accumulate multiple chronic conditions. Nowadays, we are facing very different last years of life versus what we did maybe even 50, 30 years ago. So our health systems haven't yet adjusted to that reality. Well, I think Singapore is just like any other developed and developing country. But uh, I think the, it, the problem of aging is actually um, very imminent upon us because we are the second most rapidly aging population in the world next to Japan. And um, the statistics show that in 2030, right, um, only about two citizens will be supporting one elderly citizen. And that's quite a daunting scenario. All of them are actually in a sense quite interconnected. Uh, and it all boils down eventually to the affordability of healthcare. I guess one of the challenges of healthcare today is that a lot of it gravitates around the uh, acute hospital care. When a patient presents at a very late stage of a disease, hospitalization costs will be higher because there's a need for greater medical interventions. Uh, you're dealing with complications, uh, as well as dealing with uh, uh, the late stage sequelae of uh, any of these chronic diseases. I guess the question is really about how do we actually have a more sustainable and a more affordable healthcare system. And clearly that starts with actually uh, picking up the diseases at an early stage uh, before they actually cause all the problems and to be able to take specific steps to actually prevent these diseases from either happening in the first place or treating them early so that they, they don't lead to uh, complications. In the future and in some instances today, the robot doctor uh, is making a difference in the real world. What are your thoughts on this? I do think that technology can play an enormous role in healthcare and we're seeing that constantly happening. Uh, our electronic medical records, uh, the way we can um, um, uh, uh, the way we, we enter data, the way we retrieve data. I mean, now, before I see a patient, uh, before I, if I'm going to see a new patient, I can I access, I do a, you know, a five-minute review of the latest information, which is so easy to get now. 15, 20 years ago, I would have to catalog all my journals, and it was a very slow and laborious process. And so information retrieval has become so much easier, and that's technology. Technology has a huge role to play in healthcare. We believe that healthcare is that one sector of our, of our economy, really, that lags in its adoption of technology. I think the opportunities are, are, are vast. To add your medical history, your, 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 your genetics, your lifestyle, monitoring data, together with the computing power and the collaboration power, to bring in virtual teams, clinicians everywhere to support you in your care team, and have that patient as well participate in, in their healthcare. So we, we think that that is a collaboration in itself. The connectivity of today is the real revolution. And applying connectivity to healthcare is what, we, what I would identify as the biggest promise for, for healthcare in the future.